1979 on the Three Mile Island in Lake Winnipesaukee, Pennsylvania, a terrible event happened. Years before, a nuclear reactor was built on the island for electrical power. It was built with a primary nuclear side and a secondary non-nuclear side. On March 28th of that year, one of the reactor units had a partial meltdown. It was the worst nuclear accident in the United States. Although it was the worst, it still didn't have any serious health effects on anyone. However, it still re released radioactive gases into the air, and the reactor was mostly destroyed. The meltdown was caused by a malfunction in one of the coolant pumps on the secondary side. The reactors use heat to create electricity and then coolant to keep the mechanics from overheating. The meltdown occurred because the coolant pump was kept from reaching those mechanics. The coolant pumps are in tubes so that the coolant can reach the energy producing mechanics faster. With no water, the steam gener generators could not take heat any away from the core. This automatically caused the turbine that generates the electricity <coughs> to turn off. The generator was no longer producing electricity. The tubing was getting so hot and the pressure began to build up so much that one of the staff operators decided to open a release valve. This released some of the pressure in the piping, but after the pressure and heat was gone, the valve became stuck open and did not close, even though all indicators said that it was closed. A quote from the, nu the U.S. Nuclear Regulatory Commission, unaware of the stuck open relief valve and unable to tell if the core or uranium rods in the center of the plant was covered with cooling water, the staff took a series of actions to uncover the core was a quote from the United States Nuclear Regulatory Commission. Since it was stuck open, some of the coolant started to leak out of the valve. The release of pressure from the open valve also caused the reactor coolant pumps to start vibrating and were shut off. With the valve open, coolant started to fill up the pressurizer and pressurizer is where steam collects and goes to electrical turbine that then produces usable electricity. Instead of going to the reactor's core, this caused <coughs> the core to overheat and then it became or began to leak out radiation and toxic gases from the contaminated water. Soon after, the core of the reactor got so hot that a meltdown occurred destroying the part that part of the plant. The Three Mile Island accident caused people to realize how dangerous nuclear energy is <coughs> and helped people in the industry learn more about safety. No nuclear power plants have been built in the United States since this accident. One lesson learned from the accident is that the problem must be made more obvious since the accident was caused by the fact that the staff operators didn't know what the problem was. So, in conclusion, if nuclear power plants are ever put into work again, we need to make sure all the potential problems can be solved easily and avoided.